Good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to manually compute for the critical path. This will be the foundation in in which we create a program in Python uh, to automate this task. So let us begin. First on column B we have the activity codes. We have at least uh, eight activities from a to h and in column c we have the predecessors okay and the, the, the column d the days the days in which the, the this activity needs to be done okay uh the predecessors here if you can see here in the chart in the network below uh c is pre the precedence of, of of c is a and b Okay, so we need to finish first task A, task B in order to start task C. And we need to finish task C before going to task A. Okay, so that is how it is uh, until we finish the project. If we already implemented task G and task J, H. So to compute for the forward pass, we need to find out, uh, to do the forward pass, we need to find out the early start and the early finish. So for A, it has no predecessor. The early start is zero days, or we can start right now. And for uh, activity B, it's also zero. And the early finish of activity A is zero plus eight, or it will be finished in six days. So it will be, yeah, okay, okay. Now, and uh, the same with, uh, B so B will be finished on the ninth day. Next we go to activity C. Activity C has predecessors A and B. So here C we have A and B. So in that case, uh, when can we start C? The early start of C is when we already finish both A and B. So the latest will be nine, because if we if we if we choose six. Uh, activity A so activity B is not yet finished so the early start of C is 9 day 9 because by that then B has already been finished the early finish of, of C will be the summation of 9 and the days which is 19 and now we go to D as we can say D is only dependent on C so the early start of D will be the early finish of C which is 19 okay and the early finish will be around 27 and E is also dependent on C so that is it is also 19 okay and the early finish of it will be 19 plus 5 which is 24 now we go to F in F the predecessors is E and D so we select the, the maximum early finish of E and D, which is E and D is 27 and 24, so that is 27. Okay, and this one we sum it up. Okay, now we go to G. G is dependent upon the completion of F, so that's 33. And here, I just need to add it. 33 plus 5 is 38. And 8 is dependent upon again of F, which is 33. Okay, I mean activity H is 33, and this is around 41. Early finish is 41. That is the forward pass of the critical path method. Now we solve for the backward pass of the critical path method. In the backward pass, we compute first the late finish of the task. So in the back, we go from from back from downwards we go upwards okay so the first uh, latest finish is the maximum early finish of all the tasks so in this case it's 41 and we can put the late finish of 41 on the task which has no successor so in this case there's no task succeeding H and there's no task succeeding G so both of them the late finish of both task G and H is 41 41 41 and again the late start is that we need to subtract uh, 41 with uh, days of completion so I think as equal to 21 we subtract 8 okay so 
dots 33 and we do the same with uh, task G so this 36 now we go to task F okay task F has two successors or the task that succeeds F the two is G and H here and here so we need to select the minimum of these two tasks the late start of these two tasks which is 33 okay 36 and 30 that's 33 33 okay that is how uh how we do that because uh the the thing is that uh what is the latest that we can finish the task f that it will not um, be affected so this late this 33 the late start of 33 okay uh it will start late if we already finish late with f right that is uh, the logic behind that okay we start we start h if we already finish f or we start g if we already finish f so if the late start the minimum late start of this is 33 so it means to say that uh, the start the, the f is already been uh, late finish or it's already been finished so that's called 33 okay i hope it's clear next we subtract this again okay next we go to activity e e okay the successor of e is f so we look at f again so the late start of f is uh 27 so that is 27 okay and we subtract again okay now we go to d looking at d we have one successor which is f again so d d has f okay so that is also 27 then we subtract again that the day is spent now we go to c looking at c there are two successors e and d okay we look at e and d okay and we look at the late start and we get the minimum so this is 19 okay 19 because that is the latest the minimum of these two okay 19 now we go to uh, subtract again okay now we go to b b is dependent b the successor of b is c and c will be finished on 9 okay and this one okay so b is 0 late start is 0 okay and a is also dependent on uh, the successor of a is c so the latest finishes also 9 and the latest start is 3 okay now we already compute the forward pass and the backward pass now we need to compute for the slack the slack is uh, how much leeway you have okay leeway it's, it's just a leeway and we, you can have um, three days or how many days you need to finish the task mm, while while you are while um, you are not affecting how long will it take the, the project for example the project will be completed in 41 days but even if we did not complete let's say a task uh, for this amount of time if it has slack so it will not affect the days okay to complete the slack we need to subtract the latest finish by the earliest finish or the latest start by the early start so in this case let me say that we just need to compute the latest finish minus the uh, early finish so slack is equal to latest finish minus the early finish okay so we have a slack of three and we need to put it down okay of an activity b has no slack at all so what does slack three means it means that even if we exceed the limit of six days like for example we did it we do this in seven days or eight days or nine days the most it will not affect the project completion of 41 days okay because as you can see uh here task b is not yet finished the, these tasks are parallel see these are still three days and we if you complete this task a and b at the same time it will not affect the completion date of the project Okay, so what are the critical paths? For example, tax B. If the if the slack is zero, it means to say that it, it should need to be finished on time, or else the project project completion days will increase. 
okay so those which has no slack are critical so this is critical all that has no slack is critical all which has slack is not critical okay okay this is no okay so what is the critical path the critical path are those activities which has no slack or their slack is equal to zero um, and which are they they are b c d f and h so the critical path is b c d f h okay so guys that is how you solve the critical path path method now uh, for the next video i'm going to show you the how we put the algorithm in python 3 so that we can automate this task so again I, uh, you may click the link of the video in the description below or you just find it any, anywhere here okay or maybe on the top of the of top of the uh, video on on back on on the side okay so again thank you for watching bye